Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty BB Plays Europe Universalis 4. Where we are where we were declared war on by these guys. And now we're going to fight back essentially. Silver extension is going to be a little bit of an issue for a while. And we've also ran out of manpower and now four thousand in the hole. But well, we're hoping just to take these two provinces anyways. In fact, what if I took the money out of that deal? 46% and it's negative 87 reasons and 63 reasons to do it. So we're close. Just win a few more battles. No, my vassal. Why have you betrayed me? Nice, they're going right for the um, castles, or the forts, or whatever they call those things. Vassal, don't do anything stupid. I swear to you. Nope. Now I gotta bail you out. Luckily you held out long enough. Also, you are not a complete failure in my eyes. You got 50 admin points? I can take that all day. Considering the fact that I've conquered a lot of territory that I shouldn't have. Well, I mean I should have, but... 130 now. Oh, because of the war exhaustion. Hmm. Well, but this one's gonna cost like 200, by the way. So get ready for that. Oh, 47%. Nope, they would not go up to that though. Well, fine. We will take it. Oh, 90% over extension. Now that should be something that I was worried about, is the fact that I could have gone over. Wow, all these places cost over 100. That is brutal. But then again, we have expanded like far beyond our capabilities. I mean, that's good. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but look at this. Muscovy. Strong Muscovy. Snowgrad, though, too, is also going to get kicked around quite a bit. We have claims on the rest of them. And... To take them would be 104%. And when does our mission expire? Rewards, whenever. Hmm. I guess there isn't a time for it to go away. Nice though. And to get this, all we need is that to be a core. Oh, so actually to become Russia, all we need to do is get Smolensk and get Novgorod. Oh, nice. Very nice. Because I think Russia has some better idea groups. Not totally sure, but I think. I think that we should buy down our war exhaustion though. Might be advisable. Wherever that is in here. So that makes it a little bit cheaper to core. 
Also, are we focusing on admin tech? Or admin? Yeah. Oh, I accidentally unfocused it. Great, perfect. Perfect. I did not know that's how you unfocus it, slash that unfocusing it makes it to where you can't do it later. Hmm. There's like the unrest map mode. This one, yeah. So you aren't too happy, but okay. Should go down over time. I mean, we've taken quite a bit of land. Through relation. It's been yeah, do that because we need the admin points desperately. Improve relations. And improve relations. Because I need my vassals to be higher so I can start to annex them soon. Because think about it, we're going to have this province, these two, and this whole one up here. I'm part of our nation. Novgorodian peasants. Great, Novgorod is suffering. And... Mm, their army must actually be... How would you get access to Sweden? You so you two hate each other. Weird. Reward exhaustion goes by down by 0.10 a month, so seven months and it will be done. Nice. Livonian order really came in in the clutch there. They really helped me there. Hmm. Oh, Georgia. Sweet Georgia. Being destroyed down here. By Karaknulu. Which is allied to... them. Hmm. They're allied to Crimea and Tunisia. Hmm. Okay. In my campaign that I played as them, I... I like Karaknulu and then just took all this land all up in here. Mamluks are super powerful by the way too. Yeah, but look at this. We are quite a force to be wrecked. Uh, quite a force to be reckoned with. Now, Preku. I believe that's... yeah, right here. So if we get this, this, or which one of these is Danzig? This one? Nope. Oh, Danzig right here. Yeah, if we get that, we actually become Western. So that's pretty cool. This will start coring because we're going to need our overextension down if we want to get anywhere nice in the game. And the only one not cored so far is this one that we haven't started even coring. Guess we'll delete the fort here even. Because I don't see the point of having like those two right next to each other. Especially considering that one's a border. Same with you. Away with you. I do not wish to pay half a ducat a month just to have you there. And a full ducat if I'm reinforcing. Novgorod, I think I'll just keep the one here. How long is my treaty with you, by the way? 63. Another 12 years. Yeah, all right. Can get you all the way up to that point. 
in which I will annex you. 184, it's not too bad. Because if you think about it, I'll be gaining 3, 8, 9, all that. It's not that good, really. It's the fact that's more land, and I can just expand up there more. It's going to be great. Gain to core profits. Nice. 198. Still angry right here. Let's march up there. Yeah, let's march both troops up there. Because why not? I like how Russia seems nice. Getting all those cores. Coring speed, I believe, is plus 10% too because of the fact that we have a claim. We really need more manpower recovery though. That's hurting us hard. I think through ideas though, we have. Manpower recovery speed by 10%. But I don't know if that matters. Because of the fact that we're going to turn to Russia anyways, I'm pretty certain. You can't support 12 troops up here. Hmm. Weird. Go down to here then. <laughs> that is a very, very low supply limit. Also, I haven't looked yet really. What's our tech looking like? Get military tech soon. Nice. 0.5 land morale and 0.25 tactics. Not to be underestimated. And we have no unrest. Disputed succession between Portugal, England, Milan, Burgundy, Bohemia. Eh, nobody we really care about really. Also, how's our air looking? Three, four, five, nice. Quite a bit better than us. And we are 37 and he's 12. It's a pretty good age gap because that means probably by the time we die, we'll probably be doing real good. Doing swap. We're about to get rid of another little chunk of overextension. It's only 5%, and this one's only 13. But this 22% overextension will be gone, luckily. Need the core province. Should be uh, making a decent amount of money. We've actually got access to the ocean now if we want to build some boats. I don't think so, really, yet, though. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. That's this one right here. So it's quite high, but then again, we'll, we won't have any rebel problems, luckily. So can I get any of my other vassals annexed earlier than that, or no? No. 152 Diplo. 192, actually. Hmm. I honestly might annex you first. Because it seems like, yeah, you got 18 and 6, so that's really good. 18 plus 6 is 24. You've got 19 altogether. And you've got 24 altogether, too. But also, you're probably going to be the biggest pain. That's a... Nah, I actually shouldn't designate you as a march. You should do that to somebody you plan on growing. Like, 
if I conquered this little bit up here. I might as turn them into a march just because I'll never want to take much of that land probably. No, oh, the game's paused, I didn't even realize. Hmm, I actually don't even need friendly troops up here anymore. Gained another core province. And now we got the only one. Which is not bad, really. Not bad at all. This campaign is going quite nice, actually. Because in the series of my first recording session, we've already conquered... Like, more than half of Novgorod, I'd say. And we took two small guys out. I mean, we had to fight this and giant ooze back over here in order to get it, but we got it. We are going to want to expand eastward. Yeah. But, you know, there's a time and a place for that, just like there's a time and a place to end the episode, so I'm going to do that right now. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed.